South Korea's National Assembly chamber has witnessed uproarious moments in its past. Sit-ins, punch-ups, barred doors. But on this day, history was made with calm deliberation. 299 of its 300 members casting a vote on the impeachment of their president. The result, conclusive. In total, there were 299 votes for impeachment, 234 against 56 votes, and two did not vote. Therefore, Park and his impeachment bill has passed. The triumphant opposition saying the constitutional court must now deliver the final blow. I believe the overwhelming vote in favor of impeachment will significantly influence the ruling of the constitutional court and expedite its decision. The president left to perform one last act before her powers were suspended, meeting the members of her cabinet. I solemnly accept the voice of the parliament and the people and sincerely hope this confusion is soundly resolved. The prime minister will take on her powers until the constitutional court gives its ruling, potentially months from now. I will heavily take the duty of acting president assigned to me in accordance with the constitution and I will make best efforts to manage state affairs in a stable way in any difficult situation. Park geun -hye's public life began in tragedy. An assassin aiming for her father, strongman leader Park Chung-hee, instead killed her mother. A private young woman found herself serving as de facto first lady, at the same time developing a close relationship with a man named Choi Tae-min, a charismatic cult leader who told Park he could communicate with her late mother. Park's friendship with Choi's daughter, Sun Sil, would last four decades and ultimately cause her downfall. Choi's alleged meddling in state affairs and using her influence to enrich herself and her family caused anger and disgust. Last weekend was the biggest expression of that so far, 1.7 million said organizers protesting on the streets of Seoul. A smaller protest today outside the National Assembly, one that ended in celebration. What happened here is not yet the end of the story. The Constitutional Court now has a maximum of six months to decide on the validity of the vote that took place inside this building. Park Geun-hye has made it clear that she intends to carry on living in her childhood home, the presidential Blue House, while her lawyers argue her case. But she's also made it clear that she's disconnected from her family, from her friends, and now she will also be cut off from the running of the country. Harry Fawcett, Al Jazeera, at the National Assembly in Seoul.